Exercise 17. Unilever Group reports the following equity information for the years ended December 31, 2007 and 2008 in millions of euros. We're asked to match each of the three account titles, share capital, share premium, and retain profit with the usual account title applied under U.S. GAAP. Regardless of the name, equity always holds the investments of the shareholders and the accumulated income. When we look at share capital, Share capital is synonymous with common stock par value. Share premium is synonymous with paid in capital in excess of par value common stock. And retained profit is retained earnings. We're asked to prepare Unilever's journal entry using its account titles to record the issuance of capital stock assuming that its entire par value stock was issued on December 31, 2007 for cash. When we look at the 2007 balances in the investment accounts and reconstruct the journal entry, we debit cash for the entire amount of the investment, credit share capital for the par value, 497, and share premium for the amount in excess of par, 166. The total cash receipt was 663. What were Unilever's 2008 dividends, assuming that only dividends and income impacted retained profit for 2008 and that its 2008 income totaled 2678 When we reconstruct the retained profit T account, the beginning balance 15166 plus net income 2678 minus dividends equals retained profit. The ending retained profit balance is 15821 Dividends then total 2023.